Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the infamous bubble sort algorithm with Swift. Uh, it's going to be a general code looking thing for most of the programming languages but in this video especially I'm going to be focusing on Swift. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's fire a playground and in this we're going to build a function which will do the bubble sort algorithm. So we're going to say func bubble sort. It should accept an array which is going to be an array of integers and it should return a sorted array which is going to be again an array of integers. Now uh, we're going to make this array into another variable so that we can mutate it since we have to swap elements if necessary. So we're going to say var array is equal to arr and now is when we're going to start doing the two nested for loops. So we're going to say for i in uh, 0 till less than the uh, count of the array minus 1 and then we're going to say the next uh, nested for loop which is going to be for j in 0 till the same value array of count minus 1. Now here is where we're going to do the condition checking and then the swapping. So we're going to first check if the current element is greater uh, so array of j is greater than array of j plus 1. So if this is the case which it shouldn't be we need to swap these two elements. So we're going to say let temp which is going to be a temporary variable. We don't have to declare its type because Swift will infer it. Let temp is equal to the current element. So we're going to store it in a temporary variable. Now we're going to say this current element should hold the value of the next element which which technically should happen from the beginning. Now uh, here I'm going to close this. And after we have assigned it to the next value, we're going to say the next value is equal to the previous value, which is now stored at temp. So we're going to say array of j plus 1 is now equal to, uh, sorry, temp. There we go. Now, uh, Swift has a warning for us, which says immutable value i was never used. So, we, uh, so it suggests that we use an underscore for it. And it also says missing a return function because if you notice here, we have asked the function to return us a, an array of integers, but we have not asked it what to return. So we're going to say return this mutated array. Very simple. Now outside of this function, we're going to test this out. We're going to say let unsorted array is equal to some random value. So we're going to say uh, 4, 3, 8, 1, 7 and 0. And we're going to now test out this bubble sort algorithm. So we're going to say bubble sort and we're going to pass in this unsorted array. So technically if you run it now, you should get the value. So just to make it a bit more clear, we're going to uh, push this into the console by doing print. And now if we run it, we're going to see the output here. So we can see the array that we passed in was unsorted. It had elements. I, it was not in a descending or an ascending order. But now bubble sort has rearranged them into an ascending order starting all the way from zero and going all the way up to the maximum value, which is eight. So as we can see here, since we have two nested for loops, the uh, time complexity for bubble sort becomes O n squared. And but the space complexity for this one might be O of two, but in general, it's actually O of one because the only variable that we're using is temp. So that's the only space that's occupying. All right, that's been it. It was that easy to do the bubble sort algorithm in Swift. So if you guys learned anything from this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. I guess that's been it. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you soon in my next video.